Hello and welcome to Audio Talk where we talk about all things audio and today we're going to talk about receivers. Wow. Now receivers, let me just say that I've heard the receiver word since the 70s. Like mm. when my parents had that stack of things, I heard receiver being thrown around but yeah. I don't know that I actually know what one is. Hmm. So, yeah. Kent, yeah. Oh. what is a receiver? Oh, <laughs> well, back in, in those days, the receiver was just, it's an amplifier, you know, okay. it's an amplifier. I mean, you know that you put a source in, CD, uh, record player, whatever, you know, whatever you have of a signal mm -hmm. uh, with the music, and then you plug that into it, and then you can plug speakers into it, and then it will supply the power for the speakers, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I mean that's essentially what it is, you know. Yeah. So but they built a radio into it and that's what made it a receiver, you know, back in those days. Oh, yeah. So that's the difference. They had the radio with the the big tuner knob. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I remember that. Yeah. So so, so so that was the development, uh, you know, that you can get a radio Built into your, your your amplifier and and save a little bit of uh, money on buying what was called a tuner, you know, back in those days. You know, okay. Did, yeah, uh, which the tuner knob. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, are there different types of receiver? Like, I know we're not using the AM/FM thing now. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So what happened to receivers? Are they just gone? Um. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. It's um. Today, uh, Bluetooth. Uh, receiving music from a phone, a tablet, whatever, uh, Bluetooth is uh, something that comes in a lot of these um, amplifiers where it's built built together. So, so that those are still a receiver, yeah, and oh. and 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 even more so today. You know, this is uh, much higher resolution, and it can pick directly from the internet. Is the uh, the ones with the DLNA built in, like Wi-Fi based. Uh, receivers. Okay. So so yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, then all you need is still just that one gadget. You can just pick music from the internet down into it. Okay. But so now we're not getting that AM/FM signal anymore. We're getting Wi-Fi signals and the Bluetooth signal yeah. for the receiver. Rather so we than just switch the yeah the sources. Yeah. 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 And there is a clear advantage to running Wi-Fi because you don't get all the static <laughs> you know, all the static and and much higher resolution and okay. you can so. pick channels from the whole world you know so mm -hmm. yeah so that's the the process that had that has gone through uh, yeah yeah okay. for yes. the receiver like a the basic word receiver yeah mm -hmm. is there any other types of receiver that we need to know about? <laughs> Am I hiding something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think that many are um, thinking about that as a receiver today. I think most people think about uh, the ones for home theater, uh, surround sound. Uh -huh. That is the most commonly bought receiver, but that actually is named an AV receiver. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're saying that most people don't think about um, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi mm. thing as a receiver. Right. They're just going straight to the hey. the audiovisual right aspects. Okay. Which can handle, you know, picture. You put your um, what's it called? Your uh, your TV signal through it with HDMI, and then you can operate the receiver through the TV, and you know, so it's okay. it's it's a it's is very elaborate digitally. Yeah. Okay, and so now the television's in there, and that wasn't in there before. No, no, there wasn't oh, even in anybody's mind that that should have anything to do with it, because mm. stereo and two-channel listening, like just to sit in front of a pair of speakers, was something that was super common in, 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 in you know, in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, yeah. probably also before then. Yeah, I'm sure. before you could just plug your a television into the speakers, right? Yeah. You just go kind of directly? Uh, well, like, you had to go through an amplifier, yeah. Oh, you always did, okay. Yeah, I think there was TVs back then that had built-in amplifiers so you can hook up external speakers, but it would always be like some little knick-knack. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. so now we know what receiver is. Yay! Yay for receivers! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.